like one, I'm trying to believe her. Bro, I'm a lad, I am done, I'm trying to believe her. On your shoulder, I'm trying to bench her. Yeah, you are, I'm trying to believe her. 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 And we are the brothers from the gathering of Christ Church, Florida, under Elder Nathanazar. And we are here today to tell everyone they must come and repent for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. That's what we are here today in Delray to tell the children of Israel that are scattered in the four corners of this earth. Y'all need to repent for your sins and come to the most high Christ. You can't come Anybody you hear that's any 
these churches and they and they telling you they ain't Christ. I'm a Christian. And they live in a lifestyle of sin every day. They wake up, they sing and they transgress his laws. They are not in Christ. And these are the people that Christ said, they shall come to me at the end and say, I did this in your name. I did that in your name. You're supposed to get away from me. Depart from me, you hypocrite. Because if you are in Christ, you cannot sin. You cannot be transgressing, breaking these laws. Every single day talking about I'm a Christian. That's not biblical. You need to learn your Bible. Let's go to Luke 13. Chapter 13, verse 3. I tell you, nay, but except ye repent, ye shall all likewise perish. You see that? If you do not repent, you shall perish. I'm not saying that, but Bible is saying that. You shall perish. And guess what? These Sunday Christian church pastors can't save you from that perishing. Because that perishing is going to be done by the hand of Christ himself. The so-called Alright? That my false image of Christ they gave you can't save you from perish from the real Christ from the tribe of Judah. Christ spoke from the tribe of Judah according to the Bible. It's not Sergio Boucher. That's not Christ. That's Sergio Boucher. And he can't save you from the perishing that Christ, the Shire, which you ignorantly call Jesus, is going to bring onto you. The pain he's going to bring into this earth for those that are unrepentant sinners. Let's go to 1 Kings chapter 8. Verse 46 and 47. Now, you children, you are the seed of Israel. You got some Guatemala right there. You got some Mexico, South America, Brazil. You are the children of Israel. The most high the Bible is speaking to you. Christ came for those that were lost. He came for you. He came for you. You are the only ones in this earth that need a savior. Hear what the Bible is saying to you. First Kings 8. And 46, 47. First Kings chapter 8, verse 46. If they sin against thee, for there is no man that sinneth not, and thou be angry with them, and deliver them to the enemy, so that they carry them away captives unto the land of the enemy, far or near. Verse 47. Yet if they shall be sick themselves in the land, whether they were carried captives, and repent, and make supplication unto thee in the land of them that carried them captives, saying, We have sinned and have done perversely. We have committed wickedness. You see that? So if you acknowledge your sins, Israel, as the Bible says in 1 Kings chapter 8, only if you acknowledge your sins and come back, the reason why we are here in Delray Beach, Florida, you children from Guatemala, Mexico, Levi from Haiti, you are the priest. The reason you are here, you are sitting here captive according to Deuteronomy 28, verse 64, 66, 68. You are here because of your iniquities, because you are non-repentant of your of the sins, which is the transgression of the law. Only if you acknowledge your sin and come back to the Most High, He will reverse your captivity. Let's go to Ezekiel 18, verse 30, 31. Ezekiel chapter 18, verse 30. Therefore I will judge you, O house of Israel, everyone according to his ways, said the Lord, God, repent and turn yourselves from all your transgressions, so iniquity shall not be your rule. You see that? The Most High is asking you, Israel, turn away from your, from your wickedness. Turn away from your transgressions, because it's going to ruin you. You started already. You had captivity. You've been sent captive into all these lands because of your sin. You need to turn around from those sins. It's going to ruin you, spoil you. Let's go to um, Ezekiel 14, verse 6. Ezekiel chapter 14, verse 6. Therefore said unto the, say unto the house of Israel, Thus said the Lord God, Repent and turn yourselves from your idols, and turn away your faces from all your abominations. You see that? The Most High is asking the children of Israel, Turn away from your idols, brother from Levi. Turn away from Mary. Turn away from it. That's an idol. Brother, do you know that you are a child of the Most High God? You from, you from Haiti, right? You from the tribe of Levi. The Most High is asking you to turn away that we as a people must turn away from our idols. And He will accept us back. That's the only way He's going to accept us. And when you when the Bible talks about repentance, it's a change of heart, a change of mind. You can't say you are born again, you are converted, but there's no change. There's no fruits of repentance in you. How could that be? That's impossible. He, remember, he that is in Christ cannot sin. What is sin? The transgressions of the law. He's calling you back from your idols. Look at today. The whole world will be idolizing a ball dropping. That's idolizing. We got to get back from that. Let's
Let's go to 2 Peter 3, verse 9 to 10. There's going to be consequences if we don't repent and turn back to the Most High. And it's yours in Christ, Yeshua, which he ignorantly called Jesus. 2 Peter 3, verse 9. Whosoever is born of a higher does not commit sin, for his seed remains in him, and he cannot sin because he is born of a higher. Verse 10. In this, the children of Ahia are manifest, and the children of the devil. Whosoever does not do doeth, whosoever doeth not righteousness is not of Ahia. Neither he that loveth not his brother. You see that? You, you see that? How could you say you are a son of the living God, but you still commit sin, actively living a lifestyle of sin? You are not the son of God. Anybody that shares Christ in these roles on a daily basis makes it a lifestyle of committing sin. Your father is the devil. It's not Christ. Let's go to 2 Peter chapter 3, verse 9 to 10. Second Peter chapter 3, verse 9. The Lord is not slack concerning his promise, as some men count slackness, but is long suffering to us word. Not willing that any should perish, but that all should come to repentance. Verse 10, but the day of the Lord will come as a thief in the night, in the which the heavens shall pass away with a great noise, and the elements shall melt with fervent heat. The earth also, and the works that are therein, shall be burned up. You see that? There is a day that the Most High, upon his return, all those that are in Christ, dead or alive, shall be caught up with him. But those that remain, that are not in Christ, they will have to deal with the wrath of Christ. And trust me, the Bible says, to fall upon the rock. rock. But if the rock fall upon you, you shall be broken into ashes. So no one should want to deal with the wrath of Christ. He's not that loving God that the Bible that the Christian church tells you about. He's a man of war, as the Bible says. And he's coming for those, and his enemies are those that transgress his laws. You don't want to be on, the, on that side. Today, that's why we come in here. The brothers from the crowd of Christ Church, Florida, we come in here telling you, just like the prophet, the, the apostle, John, came to you before Christ and said, repent, and he made the way for Christ. He said, repent, for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. We are telling you the same thing. The time is nigh. The time is there. You need to repent. Because the kingdom of heaven is at hand. And Christ will soon return. And if the rod will be in his hand, and the sword will be in the other. Let's go to Acts 17, 30. Acts chapter 17, verse 30. And the times of this ignorance God winked at, but now commanded all men everywhere to repent. You see that? In your time of ignorance, the Most High winked because he said, Father, forgive them. You don't know what you do. But today, before Christ is returning, the gospel is being preached in the four corners of the earth. And no man will be, will be with, without, with excuse that they did not know. The excuse of ignorance will be no more because the gospel is being preached. That's why we are here. We come in the same spirit of John the Baptist to make the way for the return of Christ. Christ is returning and the kingdom of heaven is at hand. That's why we come